Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Beardy here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so this interview here was thought to be lost forever until I found it a few years ago in my archives and I've been restoring it ever since. Now, the reason it's taken so long is because the audio was so bad you couldn't hear anything. So it's taken us a while and now it's finally done. And this is one of the most important interviews, maybe the most important interview in Bruce Lee's life ever, because he talks about personal issues, being challenged to fights in Hong Kong, and his famous quote, I have no fear. So here we go, guys, enjoy. Bruce, as a screen tough guy, you're going to have to suffer what all movie heroes suffered, challenges from exhibitionists and nuts asking you to fight, challenging you to fight. It's already begun to happen, hasn't it? Yes, it has. How do you deal with it? When I first learned martial arts, I too have challenged many established instructors. And of course, some other challenging me also. But what I have learned is that Challenging means one thing. Is that what is your reaction to it? How does it get you? Now, if you are secure within yourself, you treat it very, very, very lightly. Because you ask yourself, am I really afraid of that man? Or is that man, do I have any doubt within me that he's going to get me? But if I do not have such doubt, and if I do not have such fear, I would certainly treat it very lightly, just as today the rain is going on strong, but tomorrow maybe the sun is going to come out again. I mean, it's like that type of a thing. Of course, they can't lose by challenging you. Even if they lose, they get the publicity of, of being a guy who actually fought. Well, let's face it. I mean, in Hong Kong, can you have a fight? I mean, a no hold bar fight. Is it, is it a legal thing? It is and isn't. And to me, you see, a lot of things, I mean, you know, like challenging and all that. It's, I am the last to know. I am always the last to know, man. I mean, I always find out from newspapers, from reporters, before I personally realize what the hell is happening. How much of your screen personality is really you? I mean, you teach martial arts, so you're obviously very good at it. But, of course, teachers are not always the best exponents or practitioners. Are you able to take care of yourself, would you say? I will ask, I will answer it, first of all, with a joke, if you don't mind. Oftentimes, people come up and say, hey, Bruce, are you really that good? I said, well, if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> but, all right, going back to being truthful with you. Let's just put it this way. I have no fear of opponent in front of me. But I'm very self-sufficient that they do not bother me. And that should I fight, should I do anything, I have made up my mind and that's it, baby. You better kill me before. Bruce, in The Big Boss, you play a man who's very slow to anger. Yes. He's shy, diffident. Uh, you even stay out of fights in the early scenes because of a promise you made to your mother. Yes. Um, is that a little bit like you, or is this just a screen personality? Uh, this is definitely a screen personality, because uh, as a person, one thing that I have definitely learned, and, and my life, it seems like it's a... It's a, it's, a, it's a life of self-examination and self-peeling of myself bit by bit, day by day, is that I do have a bad temper, <laughs> a violent temper, in fact. <laughs> uh, so that is definitely, I mean, some people that I am portraying, you know, not Bruce Lee as he is.
a boxer, when they concentrate on two hands, yeah. it's because how amateurs they are, they, yeah. they, they do their thing. That's right, they're in a war, they're really... But whereas most guys go out there, they haven't decided what the hell they're going to use. Yeah. I mean, before they, they contact each other, they do all their fancy stands and all the fancy movements. But the minute they contact, they just <laughs> don't know what the hell to do. Yeah. I mean, that's it. They missed yeah. and they fell on their asses and they tucked and hold and wrestled and I mean, yeah. I mean the whole Hong Kong they caught some and they talk out that the interpretation even That's, in Hong Kong. And yeah. Can you imagine that? I mean, even those guys see it that way. I mean, yeah. what do you think of the appreciation of people here? Yeah. Right. Well, period. That's right. The level is still so. Well, what I'm hoping to do in film is to be just that, man, to raise the level. And it's a real mission there, really. Yeah, it really. I mean, actually, not only raise the level, actually upgrade. That's the right. Gain respect from the Western well, world. That's what I'm. That's what I hope to do, man. Yeah. Because, uh, like here, I mean, you know, I'm, the reason I'm coming back is Warner Brother wants me to do a television series, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'll do it now. Yeah. I'm gonna concentrate, you know, in Hong Kong and. Uh, and do it. Yeah. Yeah, start from there. Yeah. Actually, there's more. And actually, you might be able to expand it to here. That's like right. the Italian picture, a fistful of dollars and yeah. things like that, if the quality can be uplifted. Yeah. And uh, that's what I, you know. Well, that's actually... Uh, more and more, Dan. I mean, it's uh, becoming more and more simple to me <laughs> as a human being. And more and more I search myself. And, uh, and more and more, I mean... I think you are well. I mean, the questions are more and more lifted. And yeah. More and more I see clearly, you know. It's really the simplicity. It is. It uh, really is, man. I mean, what it is is that what man has to get over is the consciousness. Yeah. The consciousness of himself. And uh, I always remember you say you have to shop more, the tools, you know. The yeah. basic tools. You've got tools working properly, but right? then you That's can use them. Yeah. You see, I mean, here it is. When you, if you can move with your tools from any angle, then you can adapt to whatever the object is in front of you. That's right. And the clumsier, the li more limited the object, the easier for you to part shot it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it amounts. That's right. I think uh, sometimes uh, and more. And I mean, really, what it is is that it, it utilizes the body <laughs> to come to some sort of a realization. Disregard whatever your pursuit happens to be. Mm -hmm. In my case, is uh, the pursuit of uh, becoming moment to moment, whatever that thing is, and mm -hmm. constantly questioning myself. Mm -hmm. You know, what is this, Bruce? Yeah. Uh, is it true or is it not true? Mm -hmm. uh, do you really mean it or not mean it? Yeah. Once when I found that out, that's it. I mean, like my coming back to refuse the television series is mm -hmm. a, one of the major decisions. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, you actually reach the point, you become very, uh, actually quite philosophical. You see the ultimate goal. Well, right? let me right. say this. I mean, I haven't as yet been able to control my anger, <laughs> which I have uh, this, uh, violent this anger. Comes, this comes by, by season, by age. I well, <laughs> not only that, but I mean, I mean, if I have given me the time to, 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 to just stop for a few minutes, uh -huh. I will be able to control it. But I say, fortunately, I mean, like, let's say if Lao Tai Chi is yeah. manly enough, instead of going to the newspaper, yeah. or walk up to me and slap, that's the end of him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have yet been able to turn the other cheek, man. <laughs> uh, and, well, in fact, I think the fact you right now, you, uh, uh, I would say, say 10 years ago, you say Lao Tai Chi, you just say, okay, pick your time, I'm going to just Pick the time? Yeah. I will go take the time. You said I won't even say anything. I'll just show up right in, <laughs> right in front of his door waiting for him. Yeah. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I mean, well, I have yet refused one challenge yeah. ever since I was in the United States. Yeah. Wrong well, that one. And all these bullshit yeah. artists. All of them. Yeah. So, uh, well. Imagine it. I, I just accept it. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, the fact that you're able right now to uh, see the like uh, uh, first, well, first you know? question I ask yeah. myself is that. Do I have any fear yeah. or any doubt about this man? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. And do I know what his intention is? Yes, I do. Yeah. Then what the hell are you going to do about it? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's always con continually... You uh, might be deteriorating physically in the long process of aging, but shit, man, in your discovery daily is still the very, you know, same, you know, every day. Well, I think uh, you're, you're actually getting to a point where you remember the two Chinese uh, scrolls, Yi Mo Fa, Hui Yao Fa, Mo Han, You're reaching these points, approaching these yeah. points. That's the most That's important the thing. Important thing yeah. And because when there is a way, man, there lies the limitation. That's and right. when there is a, a circumference, you know, it traps. And when That's it traps, it rots. And when it rots, it is lifeless. That's right. Well, whatever you said has been making a great impact on in my training, in my uh, thinking of the martial art as a whole. I mean, it seems like once you talk to you and so on, work in this, you never, never would ever go 